I still was asleep and I just woke up because it felt like I peed myself. My underwear was completely soaked. And I went to pee. And I think my water's breaking, like gradually, because it keeps feeling like I'm peeing myself. So I put a pad on. I'm about to go get tea. It's too late. I need to like call the doctor. You might be having a baby today. So we called the doctor and she was like, the best way to tell is if you put on a pad and if it becomes saturated, then you'll know. Or you can wait until you start having contractions. I haven't had a period in like nine months, so I don't know what, like, and I don't usually get period cramps anyway, so I'm, I don't know if they're starting or not. I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> Tia's panic patting in the back. So she said we can wait a little bit, but like as she's talking to me, I can literally feel it like coming out on the pad, which is like TMI. But we're probably going to go. And it could be a false alarm, and that would be perfectly fine with me, that we have a little bit more time. But I just woke up, I'm not really feeling her like move like that, so... I don't know what's happening. T's about to go install the car seat in the car. Just in case. And I'm about to straighten my hair. I guess I'll do my lashes at the hospital because what is this? Who did it and why? I might try and do a little bit of them here to be honest. Because the hospital is only 10 minutes away from us. So until I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm not really rushing it. I called my mom and woke her up. And she's like, obviously I have to take my phone off, do not disturb. Do they have, do they have showers in there? Yes. You need all your stuff. I'm definitely contracting though because my stomach is really, really tight. Now do they hurt? No, not really. It's really, really tight. Literally, and it says only 20% of women's water breaks. That's why I was like not even planning on this scenario. I was planning on laboring at home on the exercise ball. Like later this week, I literally said, Tyler, wait until Wednesday. And she said, okay, it's 224. Let's go. <sighs> Let me get ready. <laughs> this is what you do, Dad? Yeah, man. Calming your nerves. <sighs> I cut my hair. I don't have any lashes, so they're, I'm just not going to have any lashes. But I cut my hair. I really don't feel any pain. She said to let, I could wait until I like start having contractions to come in. And I feel like I should be having them. But I'm not. So I'm just on the exercise ball thing. Because literally, this was not a part of my birth plan. I thought I was going to be able to labor at home until I was about to die before going to the hospital. And like, I'm having contractions, but like, they don't really hurt. Like, everybody said they were going to like start hurting. But then again, I don't really get period cramps, so I don't know what they're supposed to feel like. They just like make me have no breath basically <sighs> but I'm probably about to leave soon because this man said he has to <laughs> get breakfast so we're going to McDonald's <laughs> and we need to go to the gas station and get snacks just in case we're there for a hot minute which we probably will since I'm not feeling anything first stop gas station for snacks Do I want candy? I don't think I want any candy. So I'm not gonna get any. I just got this. I'm sure I'll regret this. So we made it to the hospital. T never got his McDonald's because all the McDonald's are basically like, their system is down right now. So he's really upset because he didn't get any McDonald's. Um, we just got to the 
the women's center. It's so dark. You would think it's nighttime. It is 3.37. Um, I'm still not really having any contractions. So, and I honestly don't even know if this is where you're supposed to go once it's like after hours, but they didn't tell me anything because I just turned 37 weeks yesterday. <sighs> I can't breathe with my mask. How do okay. you feel? Huh? Huh? I said, how do you feel? Where are we going? Oh, I didn't see the door right there. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm tired. I'm so tired. Mama's all plugged up. Hold up. I gotta get nice with this, this angle stuff. You could have just put the screen down. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're just chilling. They poked her like 40 billion times. You're my IV. One of them may know what she was doing. <laughs> That's why she was bleeding so much. I was bleeding a lot. But now we're just waiting. Huh? Just waiting. We both need to get some rest because it looks like it's going to be a long we day. We just passed. Yeah, we've been up for four hours. It's six o'clock. I woke up at like 2.20. Yeah, mine's already closing on their own, so. <laughs> They're about to start me on Pitocin, so I need to like go to sleep soon before I start feeling bad contractions. Yeah, whatever Pitocin is. It speeds up your labor process. If you're not contracting on your own, it makes you start contracting. That's Pitocin. I'm scared. She's not scared. I am. Well, gotta go. <laughs> hot mess right now but me and T just woke up it's like 11 30 we've been asleep since we got in our room at like six six something I've been on the Pitocin since six something mm, my charts are kind of everywhere I can't really, like, it doesn't really feel painful when I have a contraction. But honestly, I can't remember the last time I had cramps when I had a period. So I don't really know, like, what to equate them to. I've just been comparing them to, like, diarrhea cramps. If that makes sense. If you know, you know. My water is still leaking constantly, which is gross. It's like warm and it feels like you're peeing on yourself, but you're not peeing on yourself. It's real weird. Um, this guy's just chilling. He brought his PlayStation, so he's going to play PlayStation the past time because he said he was bored. Like five minutes after waking up. Um, 
too. Um, what else is new? We had a shift change. They had shift change at like 7. So the nurses and doctor we originally had are not our same nurses and doctors now. Um, but my nurses at first were like, one of them was new and she's the one who did my IV in my hand. I was bleeding so much and it hurt so bad. Um, but the doctor who's here now, I had the most appointments with her so I'm totally comfortable with her. And we graduated from the same school, so go Pirates. Um, other than that, we're just chilling. It's really just a waiting game at this point. Um, when she came in, I was half asleep, but she said that she doesn't feel like anything's really going to happen until near lunchtime. Um, so we're approaching lunchtime soon. So that might be when it like kicks in, cause then I'll be I'll have been on the potential for like six hours. So we'll see how that goes, and then once it gets unbearable, we're gonna get the handy dandy epidural. But we're gonna try and go as long as possible, cause I'm not looking forward to having a needle in my back after being stuck to death with this IV. But, hmm. When do you think she's going to come? T. When do you think she's going to come? When do you think she's going to come? Yes. She's going to be here before the end of the day. Well, duh. I'm saying a time. Two thirty or three, so four hours, less than four hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, they don't prepare you for how your body reacts when you're going into labor. Like some people like start shaking or whatever, and some people get really nauseous or throw up. Um, and some people have diarrhea as like their onset of labor symptoms. I got diarrhea. I'm pretty sure I still have it, but it's literally been waking me up like every hour to use the bathroom, and it's the most gross thing ever because it just like comes out on its own. But <sighs> we'll keep you guys updated on everything. I got these monitors on me right now to monitor her heart rate and my contractions. My sister texted me and was like, can you take some castor oil to speed this along? Because, like, my mom woke her up, I guess, when I called them at, like, 5. So, everyone's eager and ready. I'm not looking forward to how my vagina's going to feel after this. Yo. Here we go, y'all. It is 4.47. Joe's starting to get a little more pain. She's back there huffing and puffing. But, um... Yeah, man. It's about that time, dog. Ew, I just put on the camera. My bad. I ain't mean to do that, y'all. <laughs> My bad. How you feeling, Mama? Mm. Talk to him. You okay? These contractions are starting to hurt. I'm about to pull my hair up because I know it's just going to get worse. I got some Italian ice, though, because I'm starving. Starving? Your mom about to bring me that waffle. You know what I'm saying? Um. Good, you got to tell. Come on, I want to get the baby for you. Just like I don't know. We talked to TJ and told her that she had um like three hours, and that's when my contractions started to pick up. I could barely pee without like dying, but I'm not really dying because I haven't cried yet. But I'm getting there. Let me take. So epidural soon come probably. 
I'm gonna check back in, man. How did that girl feel? It was good. Yeah? I mean, I still not probably kicked on the way in, but right now it's better. That's good. So now I was boo boo crying through <laughs> those contractions. Yeah, you was in pain, huh? Yeah. But you did a good job. Thank you. You did a really good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. At that time, dog. Roll your arm to your back. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna reach up the leg, but we don't want. Yeah. I can't feel anything. Ooh. I don't want. I don't want. Some more? Yeah. I don't want to see none of that. I'm standing on this side. Okay. I love the scoot up. You want to scoot up? Yeah. Okay. Right, so use both hands right here. Both hands. Yep. And pull it out. You pull it out. Push. Oh, there we go. Better? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. A little bit more. Lord. Just a little. Give me strength. Okay. You good, Mike? Yeah, I'm okay. Lightheaded now? <laughs> no, I'm not lightheaded. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Who are you telling? I've done it a few times. It's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You're almost done, man. I know. So, when you push, okay. you only push when you're having a contraction. Okay. Okay. And I think, now that you're like this, I don't know if you're going to be able to feel it as much. But, if you can't feel it, I'll help you okay. know when you're having a contraction. Okay. So, you only push when you're having a contraction. Um, you try to push three times with each contraction. Okay. So a set of three pushes with each contraction. Okay. We're going to get your legs up in the stirrups. Okay. But when you push, I want you to grab either like this or like this. Okay. With both legs. Okay. okay. That just helps give you leverage because when you push, I want you to put your chin on your chest and kind of curl up. So I kind of want you to like that. Okay. That just helps. Right, the action panel to challenge us in the touch in the delivery room as we welcome to the delivery room. Take your hand up. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm trying to pull behind your legs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take a big breath in. Turn on your chest. Curl up and bear down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it out. Do a big breath. And push down. Play some pushing jams, Joe. That'll really get you motivated. Thanks. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Yeah. Push it. Period. <laughs> okay, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Get your big deep breath in. And push down. All in your bottom. One, Come two, on. three, Come four, on. five, six. Come on. We finally get to go home today. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been here for three days. This is long overdue. I have no eyelashes now. My daughter made them all come out. 
man. I'm so excited to go home. We're waiting on her discharge papers. Got my discharge papers. Got all the stuff basically packed. We're about to change her outfit. And it's raining outside. It's like perfect weather to go home. You want to say hey? Hmm? You want to say hey? You're not amused right now? Okay, we'll try again later. Snug like a bug on a rug. All set and ready to go. Get in the car.